Well, hi there. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Thank you for joining me. I'm Sharon Taylor, and I serve as pastor at St. Peter Lutheran Church. That's in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. And we come to you twice a week with blessings on the beach as just a short devotional and a way for you to begin your day in an intentional way of paying attention to God, to think about prayer, and to be connected in a larger way to all of creation. And so today we're using Joan Chittister, Sister Joan Chittister, The Breath of the Soul, Reflections on Prayer. And our first um, devotion for today is called Simplicity. And it begins with a quote from St. Francis de Sales. If the heart wanders or is distracted, bring it back to the point quite gently and replace it tenderly in its master's presence. And even if you did nothing during the whole of your hour, but bring your heart back and place it again in our Lord's presence, though it went away every time you brought it back, your hour will be very well employed. One of the most difficult mentions of beginning to live a life of prayer is to begin it at all. What can any of us do that will possibly bridge the gap between life and bridge the gap in life between the self and God. And we are not the first to be confused by it all. Lord, teach us to pray, the apostles said. The answer they got back, though simple to the core of it, is commonly overlooked. Jesus did not respond to their question with a list of rules or behaviors or rituals or gestures. He did require five attitudes, however. The first Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The first attitude is that we be aware of the nature of God. God, Jesus says, is to be hallowed, revered, honored, praised, seen as the eternal other, beyond us, above us, the one who transcends every sniveling thing of life. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. The second attitude Jesus calls for is commitment to the will of God, here and now and forever. We are to form in ourselves the values held by God if we are ever to be completely human. Give us this day our daily bread. The third attitude Jesus counsels to the apostles is dependence on God to give us what we need, even when we do not know what it is. Jesus leads us to understand that what comes to us in life that cannot be corrected at that time is, at that moment, a gift of God, even if unclear to us right now. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. The fourth attitude necessary to pray is to recognize our own need for forgiveness. To go to God asking for the grace we refuse others is to break the bond of love to which God binds us as well as to the Godhead. Just not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The fifth attitude, basic to Christian prayer, Jesus tells us, is the desire to live a good and godly life. It is the admission of our humanity, our limitations, and an awareness of the natural weaknesses. It reminds us who we really are. Such simplicity in prayer cements the relationship between the soul that knows itself and the Creator God, who knows it too. It is always and only a matter of bringing the heart back again and again, again and again to God's call to honor, commitment, trust, forgiveness, and dedication to the good. And the mantra or the prayer for today from Sister Chittister is, Give me, great God, the simplicity it takes to put myself before you with all my needs, knowing without doubt that the one who made me will complete me as well. We hear that once more. Give me, great God, the simplicity it takes to put myself before you with all my needs, knowing without doubt that the one who made me will complete me as well. And from Matthew 6, Abba God in heaven, Hallowed be your name. May your reign come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today the bread for to of tomorrow, and forgive us our debts, as we hereby forgive those who are indebted to us. Don't put us to the test, but free us from evil. Pray that you will have a day full of blessing, full of prayer, and that, that base connection to God, that posture of prayer that connects us always to God. And I thank you for joining me, and I hope you will join me on Thursday for Blessings on the Beach. Take care. Thanks.